Hi, this is uh, my lab 7-7, lab mole calculations of an acid-base reaction of an effervescent tablet. So we have a 150 milliliter beaker and take the mass 67.28, uh, 20 milliliters of water in a graduated cylinder. An acid base indicator, BTB. So when I used five or six drops the first time, I got a nice color. This time I must have diluted my BTB too much. So we're gonna change that color so it's a nice blue that we can write observations about. We went from 67.28 up to 88.89. And, oops. Then we're supposed to take a tablet. I only have a portion of a tablet, but that's okay. And we have that. So on your data table, there is the mass of the beaker with BTB and then the mass of the beaker plus water. And then you're gonna put this in and we're gonna watch the reaction take place. Um, and the acid base indicator is showing that an acid is forming. And so it turns out that the acid inside here is more, more soluble than the base. And so we get this acid color but the acid and base is making uh, bubbles. Um, as you'll see in the equation, it's making bubbles of CO2. All right, that's gonna have to take place for a while. Um, so meanwhile, we're going to let that happen and we're going to mass the uh, citric acid. So it turns out that the reaction does not finish during this time. And it does use citric acid, but we're gonna to have to use more citric acid to get to the reaction to go to completion. So we're supposed to put between 0.5 and 0.7 on there. Let's just go ahead and put that little tiny bit in there. And so uh, that's our acid, we're gonna add 0.57. Uh, this gets cold and it gets really fizzy. And then as the reaction reaches completion, you can see the color is starting to go back to green. So if I try and warm it up so that the reaction uh, goes faster because warmer cup would go faster and you can see almost everything's dissolved there's very few bubbles being made so the reaction is done so we want this green the green would eventually go kind of blue you can already see that it's getting more blue than green perhaps so the next step is at our 0.57 of acid so in the calculations, uh, you add those two things together to get the mass of all of the reactants. And now it reacts again with fizzing. So we know there was extra carbon, uh, sodium carbonate in there to make more carbon dioxide. And now the yellow color is stain, which means I have too much acid because the blue color is the base, the NaHCO3, which is sodium hydrogen carbonate. And the acid is the citric acid that I added. And now I don't have any bubbles, well, a little bit. And I wanna swirl that, it got cold again. So taking it off and warming it up. Let's zero this so we can get our final mass. And ideally we would let this sit for a little longer and make sure that no CO2 is in there. Uh, but it looks pretty good. So let's take the mass of that.
So when we're all done, it's 91.55. So during this, the tablet and the citric acid are the reactants. That's the mass of the reactants. And the product is all in there except for CO2. So there should be a difference in mass between everything and the water without the, the CO2. All right, so fill in all the data and the observations, answer a few questions, and then do some multimal, mass to mole uh, calculations and get the lab turned in. Thank you.